show several times. His company customizes mattresses, sofas, and chairs. What you might not know is that the owner, Yuval Meichler, is a veteran. He served in his home country of Israel. He came to America 38 years ago this month to start a new life. He's thankful for what this country has to offer and wanted to show his gratitude to a young man injured in Iraq. While most of us might take something as simple as a mattress and a sofa for granted, it can make the world of difference for this Purple Heart recipient's quality of life. Hi, my name is Dylan Cannon. And I'm Sarah, and I'm Dylan's fiance. I joined the military April of 2005. Um, I was very deeply impacted by 9-11. I went to military school for eighth grade. So when I was in ninth grade and 9-11 happened, I decided at that point in my life I was going to join the military. I went to Iraq in October of 2006 and I got shot December 29th, 2006 by a sniper in Baki, Iraq. The bullet went through my throat in the front and exited out the back and hit my C6, C7 vertebrae and caused me to become a quadriplegic. <laughs> we met at the Redneck Country Club. <laughs> there was a, a military appreciation dinner that night and um, I went because my grandpa served in World War II and Dylan was there and so I saw him and we started talking. The proposal was really sweet. My grandpa was um, very sick and Dylan wanted to let him know that I was going to be taken care of. So he drove from Sugar Land to College Station because I'm in school there right now and um, it was probably one or two in the morning and he he asked me to marry him and I said yes. After being injured you don't really think about some of the stuff that you're going to need because your life's changed so quickly, so drastically. So even the simplest things of like how high a sofa is or how high or low the microwave sits or a bed per se on how you know soft or firm it is you have to make adjustments for your lifestyle to make it easier for you to get around and not tougher for you to get around one of the things that we didn't think of was a couch so the couch is actually about five inches lower than my wheelchair which makes it difficult from going from the couch back to the chair so it's something that we didn't really think about and this one looks like you're sitting really low in the sofa. This is a low profile couch. And when you try to get up, what happens? When I try to get up, it actually sinks straight into it. So with the wheelchair being about five or six inches lower than the chair, then once you push down, you have no lift to get up. So you're kind of stuck and it makes it really difficult. You've all, Dylan and Sarah certainly have some concerns, some specific concerns when it comes to what kind of furniture they would get like a sofa, but really, you see every customer as having specific concerns. Correct. Everyone that has, everyone has a different lifestyle, okay? Some people like to sit, some people like to lounge, some people like a lot of space. They have entertain, I mean, they entertain a lot of people. Uh, but these folks had a very special need. His need was, or is rather, he's in a wheelchair. He cannot be going from a wheelchair to a lower area. Or a higher area for or, that matter. Or a higher area. Secondly is the firmness of the seat. Because when he wants to go in, not a problem, but when he wants to go out, he can't have something that's so soft that when he puts his weight on, he can't get to the wheelchair. The other aspect of what I saw with him was that the depth. He is going to lounge on a sofa. Okay? I could see that and I also asked him. So the piece that we built for him, we lowered the arm so he can come around the arm, scoot over the wheelchair, onto the arm, onto the sofa. And when he wants to get out, he can do the same thing. And it's very comfortable for him to lounge and watch TV or whatever it is that he decides to do. That's even more important when you consider a mattress because you are on that for several hours and we've got to make sure that when you wake up the next day that you haven't done harm to your body really. That's correct. It's very important how do you lay on, in the bed? How do you sleep? Because folks go in the bed, they relax, then they take their sleeping position. So we build the mattress exactly to contour your body. How far do you need to go? 
in the bed. How firm should it be? How soft should it be? This is something that was important to Dylan and Sarah, but how do you rectify that because his needs are different from her needs? For us, it's simple. We laid Dylan on a bed and we found out what his needs were and how he sleeps. And we manufactured a firmer bed for Dylan for two reasons. One, he personally enjoys firmer bed. Secondly, again, the aspect of him getting in and out of the bed. If it's too soft, he will have a very difficult time getting into bed. But because you're manufacturing the bed, you could also make the other side specific to Sarah's needs. Correct. Sarah's a side sleeper, Dylan is a back sleeper. So because she's a side sleeper, she needs something a bit softer to allow her shoulder to go in and her hip and so on and so forth to contour into her body. So it had to be softer. We don't have an issue at all. Whatever components we need to do to create the bed for the specific individual, for us, it's not an issue. Yeah. They were so excited that they were going to get this sofa and the mattress, compliments of you. Uh, you have a deep heart for those who have served in our United States Armed Forces. I have to tell you that this is very personal for me. First of all, I served in the military. And when I see people like Dylan, uh, it's an honor for me. It's, not a, it's an honor and a privilege. It's more an honor and a privilege for me than it will ever be for him to receive it. How's that feel? Actually, it feels really good. Huh? You're not, you're, your tush really is not sinking too much, right? Uh -huh. I and, can... and you can move. There you go. I can move a lot easier. Very good. Climb on in here. Don't be shy. Do like you did when is you were one, a kid. Is this home. one firmer? No, this is softer. The softer one. Yes. Firmer. Okay. She is further in than you are. Right. Which is a good thing because that's what we wanted. That's perfect. Okay. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. You guys got to go too, because I'm taking a nap. <laughs> All right, so we have retired U.S. Army Specialist Dylan Cannon on the phone right now. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning. How are you doing? I am good. All right, so how's that mattress working for you? I will honestly tell you that I have slept soundly every single night since I've got it. I normally would stay up until 3 or 4 in the morning, talking and turning, but I've been falling asleep immediately, and I've been sleeping through the entire night. And it's it's an honor that he thought of me to, you know, we were in, we were looking for a new mattress, and it just happened to be the right time, and it's amazing. And you got the mattress, and of course, uh, you got the, uh, the sofa as well. And so let me just say thank you very much for your service. Well, thank you. I, I would do it over again, time and time and time again. All right. And hey, by the way, that lovely house you have was compliments of? Helping a Hero. Yes, and Helping a Hero is how I found out about you. Helping a Hero does a great job of putting vets in homes so that they can kind of start their life all over again when they come back after service, especially after being injured like you were, Dylan. So thank you very, very much, and congratulations. And by the way, Dylan, when the wedding happens, who are we inviting? Everybody. <laughs> Well, Dylan, thank you very much, and say hi to your lovely bride-to-be for me. I will. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. All right. Now, obviously, he got that compliments of Texas Mattress Makers and Living Design, which does the sofa part. But the great thing about this is that you get top quality, but because of the manufacturer, you also get it for a great price. Texas Mattress Makers is having a lottery sale for their entire showroom. You'll save anywhere from 5 to 50% more off the already low factory direct prices. You can call them at 713-341-6252, 713-341-6252, or visit them online at texasmattressmakers.com. They have all kinds of materials to choose from. You can dictate your styles, the whole bit. And Living Designs Furniture is having a Memorial Day clearance sale 
with savings of up to 40% off factory direct prices. You can reach them at 713-921-5098, 713-921-5098, or you can just log on and visit them online at livingdesignsfurniture.com. Both sales run through May 31st, and both showrooms are located on Navigation Boulevard.